how your skin is your largest organ, you have to treat it like another mouth. There are thousands of ingredients the United States allows, Europe doesn't. If you wouldn't put it onto your skin or in your mouth for the most part, don't put it onto your skin. Welcome to the Seam Lund Podcast. I'm your host, Seam Lund, and our guest today is Andy Nilo. Andy is the founder and CEO of Alitura Naturals, which is a 100% natural skincare company. In this episode, we talk about the dark side of the commercial skincare industry and how to take care of your skin with natural food grade products. This episode is brought to you by Blue Blocks, my favorite light and sleep optimization companies. Artificial light at night exposure is associated with diabetes, obesity, heart disease, cancer, and Alzheimer's. Blue Blocks provides the highest quality blue blocking glasses that filter out the specific wavelengths that have been shown to suppress melatonin in studies. Melatonin is more than the sleep hormone, it's also vital for longevity, anti aging, and immunity. Artificial light exposure suppresses melatonin up to 99% and makes your brain think that it's daytime before bed. That's why I love using blue blocks to guarantee my body is making high amounts of melatonin prior to sleep. They also have daytime lenses that you can use to reduce digital eye strain and retinal damage when working in front of a computer all day. You can get a sweet 15% discount of all the blue blocks glasses, red light light bulbs, red light devices and sleep masks if you head over to blueblocks.com forward slash seamlund and use the code seam15. That's B-L-U-B-L-O-X dot com forward slash seamlund and the code is seam15, S-I-I-M 15. Andy, welcome to the show. How's it going? Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm uh, excited to have you on the show. And we've actually been having, trying to organize a podcast for like a, maybe like a year. Uh, but uh, yeah, eventually we've managed to do it. <laughs> hey, here we are. Here we yeah. are. I've like, I get a lot of questions often about like skincare and skin health and that kind of thing. But I've never been like any, I have never had like any much knowledge about it. Uh, so I figured I'll get like the expert <laughs> on the podcast to talk about uh, all kinds of things uh, related to skin health and uh, skincare. Uh, so yeah, here we are. But what, how you you know maybe how do you get into how do you found your company and how do you get into like you know uh, skin, skincare products? Oh man, it's a it's a much different story than uh, I don't know. I mean, a lot of other businesses are many other companies are planned. People write business plans. They have partners. They have uh, you know staff. Usually a business background. Uh, not me. I was um, in the entertainment industry for. Uh, let's see, at that point, well, yeah, I was modeling when I was 18, but I got into acting about 2005, but so that was my career, and um, one Saturday night, March 20th, 2011, I was just walking, crossing the street after dinner, uh, looking down at my phone, just kind of lost focus for a little bit, I got hit by a westbound heading vehicle, mm-hmm. lost consciousness, hit into the eastbound lane, clothes cut off me in the middle of the street by first responders, and yeah, I mean, I, I was coming in and out of consciousness at that point on the short drive over to Cedar sinai Hospital, but I quickly found out uh, about the severity of the situation. I mean, I was on a morphine drip in an ICU bed looking at my, well, yeah, I mean, I kind of stayed out of the bottom left corner of my eye, my chin, and one of the worst compound fracture, fractures that the resident uh, maxillofacial surgeon, Dr. Rosenberg, had ever seen. So we had to hire a private guy to uh, come in and get me repaired. I had a titanium plate inserted up top, one on the bottom, put the particles back together, um, waited, what, eight, right around eight weeks for the bone to grow back. You know, just a zombie from antibiotics, seven broken ribs, collapsed lung. And I, uh, my jaw was out to, uh, you Mm. know, it was, I was very banged up, unrecognizable, but uh, I also, um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm pretty, uh, pretty resilient. So, I mean, I, I just, I was alive right? I had that perspective. Mm. And I mean, <laughs> absolutely nothing to complain about. People don't survive accidents like that. Yeah. In a weird way, I was excited. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if it was because, I mean, I wouldn't say excited, but like giddy, like just on edge. I, I, it, may, it may have been something like from my, my body's natural response to going through physical trauma or something like that. Like the, um, I don't know if it's a cortisol response or I'm not sure, but I I also had my family around me and I was, which rarely happens, you know, all of us, uh, my sisters have their families too. And even during holidays, we very rarely ever, all of us get together. But so we had that and I had a lot of love in my little small 660 square foot apartment in North Hollywood, California. Um, But I needed that love right there during that, uh, that, that time of recovery. I mean, just coming down, just like what, you know, jaw wired shut, no teeth um and just really banged up um but i i needed you know that kind of started off my recovery on a 
somewhat positive note. And I'm a pretty, you know, I, I had perspective before that accident. Mm. Um, and it obviously heightened afterwards. But um, yeah, that I had a pre existing clay mask that I was using, kind of hiding uh, from roommates and stuff like that. Um, definitely to my male friends. But I mean, just, I mean, I, I didn't hide it from them, but I, it's not like I was just going around, you know, telling everybody about my clay mask, but in my, you know, passion and skincare. But mm -hmm. um, after that, because every Sunday night before a week of auditions as an actor, you know, I mean, I wanted to look, you know, as much like my pictures and, um, you know, really, aside from the, you know, the, the you know, the um, aesthetic side of things, it really, uh, the product of Clay Masters really helps, well, not even the Clay Masters, but clays in general create a, a, you know, an influx of blood flow and microcirculation to the surface of the skin. So it just, you know, leaves, it, you know, makes your, you know, the, the pores very tight. I mean, I'm talking about soul clay, kale and bentonite pyrophyllite, eyelight, uh, French green clay. I mean, yeah, they're, they're very, not only mineral rich, but they create so much constriction in blood vessel um, vasodilation just uh, to the surface of the skin. So you get a lot of stagnant capillaries moving. You wake up that T-zone and that, that nasal mm. area and just, I, I love it. And so I had that in my back pocket. So I knew I was going to use that to, but it was only four ingredients. And so when I was making my little morning tonic, I would meet with George Lamoureux, uh, Ron Teagarden from Dragon Herbs, Crosby Ware, Truth Calkin, Sage Dammers, uh, just with my jaw large, try, trying to, you know, pick their brain with like, you know, mm -hmm. morning, basically putting my, my morning tonic together, right? Mm -hmm. And so I had a lot of uh, medicinal mushrooms, I mean, shaga, reishi, lion's mane, uh, I don't think I had turkey tail at that point, spirulina, deer placenta, pearl powder, hoshu wu, shizandra, I mean, I, I just, but uh, it, it, I kept adding to it over time in an effort to build my blood, you know, get that blood, that good blood circulated from head to toe and help rid my body, hopefully of toxins, impurities and inflammation. And so mm. that, that, that actually ended up, uh, we actually ended up encapsulating that small formula without the deer placenta, egg yolks and bison liver, obviously, but, um, and that's revitalized. I don't know if I mentioned mm. that to you or if you tried that, but yeah, I was really banged up, but I, I mean, this took a very long time just I, you know, it's, I would say about a year, year and a half. I was never formulating a product. I was just trying to heal myself, period. Right. I, I made it, I made it a big goal to uh, get, just get back uh, in better shape than I was before. And I, I, I mean, you know, it's just a goal, uh, but you goals, you know, I mean, are important. So, but it was definitely a lofty goal at that point. But I mean, I started to feel so good very quickly. Like mm. my, my uh, obviously the scarring is not just going to go away, but the abrasions were gone within two to three weeks. Mm, wow. um, that, that's not like record time, but seriously, I was really, really banged up. And so I had a lot of gashes and things that were sped up through the, the clay mask that I was using. And then also using really good nutrient dense ingredients so I could afford like a cow butter, you know, olive oil and then so, certain essential oils. But then that started to build as I was getting more momentum personally in uh, my recovery i mean it feels good you know when you wake up you're not seeing it, it, it but it takes a lot of time though too i mean i went through a real dark period i mean imagine try you know someone making a joke and then you know hiding your smile because you don't want to show the fact that you don't have your front teeth you know what i mean like that that was there for about a year year and a half it was a very uh i wouldn't say dark time but it was i was you know i was very self-conscious i my soul my zest took a hit you know and so um but uh that's why i wanted to get back so quickly and i'm and that you know the love the support that i had from friends and family was oh man unbelievable um and then on top of that i was just extremely grateful to be alive and mm, yeah. you know everything after that it was a bonus seriously yeah. i mean i that was very very intense that was a, uh, yeah yeah it's like you know hard to imagine uh, what it feels like to go through something like that and uh, especially like the accident part and you know most people yeah they don't maybe uh, have that kind of a mindset about these things and uh, may actually, you know, kind of spiral out of, you know, some towards more negativity and that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, you obviously had the opposite uh, perspective and, uh, you know, to made the best of it. And actually, you actually, you know, came on, on top. <laughs> you, you were, you know, uh, in a better position after afterwards uh, when it happened. So yeah, it's a kind of very admirable, uh, you know, perspective to have. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. And I want to, I want to, I mean, that's a big outside goal of mine and hopefully I'll do it. I mean, I want to be there for the people that are going through something right now. You know what I mean? Mm, like it, yeah. recovery is a, I mean, and they just need, I've been there. 
I, I, and I know, I, I mean, it's not the exact mindset, but yeah, it's a very similar mindset. They're down and out. I mean, I really want to help those people, whether it's aesthetics and just, I don't know, but maybe if I start my podcast or something, I'll touch on that. But yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm so yeah. happy to be alive. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, maybe let's talk about, you know, <clears throat> I do know like one thing that, you know, most of the skincare products are pretty bad or <laughs> that they're full oh. of like this, you know, uh, bad ingredient or, you know, say kind of toxic ingredients or uh, that actually aren't that good for your skin. So what have you learned maybe um, as a researcher of this industry and uh as a yeah, like you know entrepreneur entrepreneur in it like what is maybe the biggest that's the shortcomings of the let's say conventional skincare industry and the, the products it's there are thousands of ingredients that united states allows that europe doesn't why is that you know what i mean it is unbelievable to me it's yeah it, it comes down to you know integrity of your, your ingredient decks how, how do you want to be known i and then also it's deceiving to the customer so that says so much about um it says a lot about the company too i mean I, I just you know in searching the store shelves and uh in my recovery trying to find something that i could afford to use to heal my you know my, my scarring after the mask i wanted to have something to heal and hydrate that area so I, same thing i just ordered the raw ingredients so there was always some type of hole in the product at that time you know right around two 2011 2012 there wasn't that much uh like there weren't that many brands uh, in the in the cosmetic industry, you know there was Eminence. I think there was I think Osea was was in back then. Maybe Audacity. I'm not sure, but there wasn't a big you know a, a large amount of green beauty brands out, and there wasn't a big intention um, attention put on the emphasis of clean ingredient decks. You know your skin is your largest organ. You have to treat it like another mouth. I mean if you wouldn't put it, um, excuse me, if you wouldn't put it onto your skin or into your mouth. I, I just, I feel like that's uh, for the most part, don't put it onto your skin. I mean, we have certain actives, certain, you know, uh, lactic acid, fulvic acid, actually fulvic acid I just took this morning. So that's no, hyaluronic acid. I'm, no, I would, I would eat that too. So, I mean, plant derived stem cells, I'm not sure if I would, but I mean, pretty much we, we want to do everything that we can to make as, uh, as food grade and close to nature as possible with our products. And I think, you know, like I mentioned, Amorigiani, Osea, May Lindstrom's another really good brand. I'm missing a big one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's so it's starting to, you know, become more popular. Brands are becoming, uh, you know, more aware of just, I mean, don't mislead the customer. I mean, tre treat everyone like a reflection of yourself. I mean, are, is money that important? You want to get that profit up and get another sale, get another customer? Or do you want to help someone? Yeah. Seriously. I mean, that's how I'm wired. And I, uh, yeah, and it's, it, you know, like the customer, you know, tell their friends, let, let them share, you know, you put more into your products, you market it that way. And you let the customers be your biggest form of marketing. That's how we mm. do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that reminded me of like the, like I've seen like some sort of video where they like some Monsanto as CEO was on the, some sort of uh, interview and he, they said like, Hey, you, would you drink this glyphosate in a glass? And he said, of course not. But then he said that glyphosate is safe or something that is completely not carcinogenic, but you know, most people wouldn't, eat or wouldn't be able to eat their own uh, skincare product or <laughs> but uh, yeah. obviously yours has you know actually quite yeah like you said very co close to uh, nature and uh, food grade so it's actually somewhat yeah, different yeah yeah it's um it's fun for me i mean it's a blank canvas i love bee products so i usually start with that as my base and i have an unbelievable manufacturer in hawaii that holistically raises bees and i just am so fascinated with uh just Bees in general, they're so important for the world, by the way. I mean, just yeah. a third of our food source uh, comes from, you know, just obviously pollinating flowers and just getting things. I mean, it's, they're unbelievable. But they're also, they're also, scientists are finding out more and more about how molecularly complex the, just the enzymes and the, the richest anti, antibacterial, antifungal properties of uh, bee products, you know, propolis, beeswax, honey, royal jelly, pollen. Mm. Oh man. Yeah. So I just, I love how healing they are and how nutrient dense and how just mysterious and powerful those little guys are. I, I just, I love them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I, it's not that hard. It, you have to really uh, love it though. And also, you know, fiercely want to disrupt in it, you know, something that is so wrong in an industry. I, I mean, come on. Yeah. There's a study on average, women leave the house with over 200 government recognized carcinogens daily between hairspray, lipstick, makeup, yeah. You know, that's, 
I mean, over time, that is, uh, aside from being, you know, disrupting endocrine receptors and um, at, a, at a hormonal level, which is seriously very, uh, very important to everything, um, it's just uh, over time, inflammation is the root of all disease. I mean, that's definitely going to spike inflammation markers. And I, I mean, it's just one of those things that we can control. Um, uh, I mean, this right here, Giovanni hairspray, I wanted, I mean, that's relatively non-toxic. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, I don't, I can't name any really good makeup brands or organic makeup brands right now. And I know there are a couple really good ones that a friend, you know, girlfriends of mine say are very effective, but just look into everything. Look into your ingredient decks, scan the UPC code with Think Dirty. They do a zero to 10 rating. Well, that's mostly skincare products, but I mean, you just research your ingredients, especially if it's something that you're doing daily, you know, over time that's going to build up and then, you know, just disrupting everything that, uh, um, is not intended. I mean, it, it does not serve your skin. And I mean, between fragrance and, mm. I mean, that's another culprit as well. I just, yeah. um, you can get unbelievable results from uh, natural products. And then, I mean, it's just, I've experienced yeah. that. And it, it's up, you know, it's up to all of us in the you know holistic wellness and biohacking industry to just, just spread the word just on um, yeah. how important our products, our personal care products are. Yeah. It's like, you know, you do already get exposed to these kinds of chemicals and uh, yes, the toxins uh, on a regular basis in your, yeah, like we said, household items even. And uh, I mean, soap mm -hmm. or something can also be <laughs> having these kind of different chemicals and disrupt your endocrine system. So yeah, like why would you, you know, want to overburden your system even more by putting it on your skin, especially? And uh, yeah. It's absorbed um, into your, yeah. I mean, that it's absorbed into your bloodstream very quickly. Mm. And it just, um, you know, and then also, you know, between shower filters, shampoo conditioners i mean it's just sometimes it's it's two or three step they have leave-in conditioners now i mean that close to your brain your scalp your scalp your hair follicles and i mean i just I, yep it's it's just up to us to go to work and inform and do our best to educate and just you know show different alternative healthier alternatives that serve us for long mm. in an effort for yeah are there, are there any specific ones, um, like a few examples of the names of the chemicals that are, let's say, the worst, or that are known to be like carcinogenic or? Uh, propylene glycol, uh, uh, BHTPEG um, 100, I believe it is. Uh, any artificial colors, like the blue, I think it, Blue Lake, Blue 25. <laughs> it was interesting. I was on Boss Babe's podcast yesterday and she brought out a, oh my gosh, I, she brought out a scrub, a very popular scrub. Top right, it says made with 100% natural exfoliants in like a little badge. It is so misleading because the consumer sees 100% natural and then like the NTS in, in, in exfoliants. You know what I mean? And so they probably think that it's 100% natural ingredients. Like, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like they don't even yeah. need to see the badge. It's a very, they are very clever with their marketing. People are but it's so dishonest yeah. it is what I mean, they have one little speck i mean sure they're they're um yeah their their exfoliant is probably a gm well it's a corn kernel corn grain I guarantee it's probably gmo laced and they can't i don't know but i mean it probably is and but that's yeah sure they can use their that is their uh their claim is 100 percent natural exfoliant but that i still i i don't even know if that's true i mean they went um uh danielle went through and scanned the upc code of a couple other items that were claiming to be made with 100% natural ingredients. And then there was propane diol, government recognized carcinogen. I mean, there's a, I, I forget the, the, um, the name of the, I, I should find it, but there's a, a list of the top 25, um, butylene glycol, propylene glycol, um, stearates or um, magnesium stearate, I would stay away from. It's, oh wait, that's, that's more on the supplement side of things. Um, aluminum based deodorants, stay absolutely stay away from that um you know you just you between the think dirty app scanning upc codes and them identifying which ingredients are you know just to stay away from and then obviously some of them aren't even listed on the in ingredient decks from the brands themselves for whatever reason and that's just i mean that's where we're at in mm. the united states right now and that's that's oh man it's interesting it being a, a smaller uh you know all natural green beauty brand. I, I mean, we're completely 
uh, opposite of that integrity, you know, integrity wise, but also just everything about it. And so, you know, f- you know fighting against that and wanting to disrupt, but seriously, just awake, you know, awaken people to what's going on. It, why are there thousands of ingredients that, you know, overseas, they are just flat out do not allow in their products. And then in the United States, they do. I mean, why are things different? Why do people switch up their formulas for, for Europe to make them cleaner? But in the United States, we, we, it just doesn't matter. It's like they're, they want to make it yeah, it's uh, disappointing, but you know that's why we're we're here to do our best to you know just inform, educate, and just show different alternatives, mm, and examples yeah. with yeah. better effects too, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I've seen you, I've seen some of the transformations on the website and social media. This uh, <laughs> really crazy. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's just over time, it's it has very good long term results without the unpredictable downtime of something like a chemical peel, microderm abrasion laser botox you know i mean it's just there's um yeah i just i have very sensitive skin i know what i'm getting every single time with with my products uh so it's just uh yeah it's fun mm. and it yeah it's yeah and especially with an industry that you know it's it's you're basically assisting in building confidence you know i really want to help people feel better about what they see in the mirror uh <laughs> for so long i was just uh, man it was so frustrating um so i get it i i just yeah it's uh there's an emotional aspect to it as well yeah absolutely um but maybe let's talk a little bit about you know what can you tell us about like your overall skin i don't know aging or skin health itself like what why why does skin go bad or <laughs> what makes it become let's say less aesthetically appealing over time or well i would say it comes down to not taking care of you know things like exfoliating generating that circulation to the surface of the skin um depending on how your diet is your climate the climate where you live um how interested you are i love it and a lot of people when they when they experience good skincare i mean it does i mean when you look a little more brightened and your skin's a little bit more tight and a little bit the eye area is a little bit more you know awake it feels good i mean imagine having that every day you know i mean it's going it, i just I mean, obviously I'm a little bit different in that aspect, but not really. I mean, a lot of people are very excited uh, to to do their routines because it sets a tone, uh, you know, for your day. It also mm-hmm. sets a tone energetically for everybody you meet personally and professionally. You know, if you feel good about yourself. Now, you can do that without skincare, no, no doubt about it. I know. And it's just one of those things where you know you stay consistent with a good cleansing routine to rid your body of impurities, dirt, oil buildup, and like you mentioned, environmental pollution is big. Um, and we absorb that. We're so porous, like I you know, mentioned, it's a large organ. So we're constantly absorbing impurities throughout the day. So you, we want to remove those. Our skin is our largest detox organ as well. So something like a clay mask is, is, is something, I, whether it's once a week, I do it. Uh, well, I would recommend one to three times a week. But I mean, I'm, I'm finding myself preparing for things almost daily now. So I mean, I'm doing it a lot. I mean, a very, uh, probably like five times a week, maybe more. I mean, but mm. it's, it's gentle enough. Uh, and especially with the pearl powder and the, in the like the just the ultra ventilated silk like um, particle size of, of the formula in general, it it uh, it's yeah, and it's not overly drying. Obviously, I do my best to hydrate, so it works out for me. And my skin's kind of uh, been built for that, and like kind of calloused over time. So that's mm. that's something. Whether it's a once a week clay mask or just, I mean, there are a lot of just one ingredient. I mean, Aztec healing clay. Whether it's our product our brands or someone else's i mean i would really recommend doing it it's a pretty unique experience i have you i don't know if you've tried our clay mask have you ever done a clay mask uh no <laughs> well maybe okay, I, yeah yeah I, I don't think so yeah yeah no problem we'll send you it's it's a unique feeling it it's yeah it's invigorating i mean i, I use a little derma roller before to open up and create these little tiny micro tears and signal through your body to repair itself effectively creating a thicker collagen layer but then also on top of that in rolling over your skin, you create these tiny pathways for optimal absorption of the ingredients that you put on top of it. Well, the products, the ingredients of the products that you put on top of it afterwards, you know, mm. maximizing the benefits. So that's something I'll do uh, before I mask as well. But I mean, it, it's, and then, you know, keeping your skin hydrated, repairing with a good healing night cream and the most important time to do so when you're in one position for hours, I think is clutch. Mm. Um, you know, a good night cream. Yeah, I mean, but you can also just keep it it's exfoliate, hydrate, repair. You know what I mean? Cleanse, exfoliate, hydrate, repair. That you stay consistent with that a few times a week. 
and then you know coming you know depending on diet and how you're eating whether you know good shower filter good laundry detergent you know keep your pillow uh, pillowcases clean you know and then just taking care of all the impurities that are just all around us especially in the united states it's uh it's almost a full-time job with uh with everything but um yeah it's it over i mean it's for it's just an effort for longevity i i, I don't understand why it's i mean it's our life you know it's we want right. to stay as vibrant and you know those the, the personal care products i mean as we mentioned just over time it just accelerates uh aging mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, mm -hmm. but what about collagen like that's also like a pretty touted to be like a skin uh health uh, promoter uh collagen i mean it's about i mean uh, what's that it's proline lysine and glycine right? yeah those are so i mean i i supplement with those i do my best to get it through food as well beef uh, I think, uh and obviously the collagen powder but um as far as i mean i like to i like to build up um i like to put the building blocks into the formation and, and like let our body let our body create it on its own for long like longer term benefit long-term benefits rather than doing you know it's such a hot word right collagen you know it's just like but what I mean, I, we we have it in our cleanser uh, because it's more of a leave-on treatment too. When combined with the pearl powder, it just it just it's a different feeling. It's, it's very healing. We we get our uh, marine collagen from Red Snapper, but as far as supplementing with it, and then also supple supplementing with it on the from the building block amino acid standpoint, and then eating well, I think that's how your body can, you know, produce the most collagen. Uh, good, uh, you know. A, Fat rich diet, in my opinion, has been uh, very helpful for that. And then, um, you know, because you want that subcutaneous fat layer, you know, just to kind of thicken and, and fill in those uh, fine lines and crow's feet and wrinkles that could develop down the road. But I really, I really feel like just getting that circulation, getting the stagnant capillaries, whether it's for 24 hours naturally, rather than with some quick fix band aid, you know, it, it, it a lot that so many med spas have. With, the chemical peels, the retinols, the, I mean, <laughs> where's the downtime is, I mean, the sun sensitivity, the, you know, unpredictable results from that. And also the toxic ingredients. I mean, why, I just don't get it. So, I mean, just something more natural, uh, uh, more natural exfoliating, uh, uh, exfoliant to your routine would, would be, a, you know, very helpful for that. And then obviously the, the little devices with the dermal roller that um, the collagen synthesis is accelerated with that rolling it into the skin rolling you know i like peptides right so we have a, a copper peptide in our gold serum formula so what i'll do is i'll roll i'll cleanse and then do a derma roller treatment all over my face neck and behind the ear for you know to keep that neck tight and then um and then i'll apply the gold serum and then roll again once a week roll it into the skin so you're filling up those those hole or the um the holes that were just you know open with the with the first roll and then you're rolling it into again a second time and then, um, I, and then I'll apply the clay mask after that, just once a week. I mean, that's a, it's just, it was kind of an experiment. Sometimes I'll mix in some uh, methylene blue, like mm. a couple pumps and then a couple of drops of methylene blue and roll that into it. Um, and that there's a definite noticeable difference. Like it, it, it there, like, how do you explain methylene blue? I, I mean, I was trying to explain it to someone the, the other day. It, it energizes the mitochondria of the cell, but it's so much more than that, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it, I mean, it also has like, well, I do think that it's like an AMPK activator. So, um, which oh, is okay. like this, which is like the ketotic pathway of the body. So it's maybe preserve, preserve it's like, you know, improves glucose tolerance and uh, those kind of things. Uh, so it's like, it is like a longevity, let's say, marker that increases when you're exercising and things. So I do think that, you know, maybe like, you know, this high sugar intake and, you know, advanced glycation end products and hyperglycemia, those things will just, you know, damage the collagen or the scaffolding of the skin and eventually begin to like sag uh, if you're like diabetic, which is why you may, you know, age faster as well if you have, let's say, metabolic syndrome and those things. Um, wow. And I think like methylene blue would, you know, counteract that to a certain extent. Um, I mean, obviously it's not going <laughs> to prevent diabetes or anything, but it does the, like work similar in, in a similar pathways as like, like ketosis um, by inhibiting uh, the uh, glucose, let's say, pathways of the metabolism. Wow. So it's an ATP accelerator. Is it? Um, yeah, I mean, it may help with that, I think. 
um, similar to like, um, I don't think it like increases ATP production or anything, but it. Uh, oh, it does. Okay. But, it, but it but it improves like mitochondrial function, which you know uh, indirectly will help with energy production, uh, for sure. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I I think I first heard about methylene blue from uh, either it was either Dave Asprey or, or Luke Story, but um, yeah, I mean, it's the messiest thing in the world. You get that on a hotel counter, you got yourself a big bill. So definitely watch out for. <laughs> for that in your hands i mean i just did it this morning there i mean it's just it is what it is but yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, it's a noticeably effective feeling that's for sure gotcha uh, what mm -hmm. what is like you know special about clay um obviously a lot of people i think clay has been like used even for like yeah i mean centuries <laughs> probably oh, thousands of thousands of years so uh what's what's like the more what's the most uh beneficial effects of like uh, clay oh they're so it's they're so mineral rich um, I mean, between pyrophyllite, it's loaded in silica. So that one combined with things like vitamin C and different um, uh, antioxidants like our organic kelp powder and freshwater pearl powder. I mean, it's just a nice blend of, of all the ingredients. But clays particularly, you know, as we age, we, we lose vital minerals, not only for our skin, but for our overall health that can, you know, slow down the, you know, the inflammation markers and, and also just help with like we mentioned earlier just a very very potent um detox ingredient i mean it, it's it's like a, a detoxing ingredient i mean as far as like removing impurities and heavy metals it's a mil. I, I think dave told me it was it's like a i mean bentonites using military protocol you know just as far as for um you know just arsenic heavy metals i mentioned environmental pollutants and also reintroducing minerals that we, that we lose as we age um, it's one of those things, bentonite particularly in, in French green. I mean, they're all, Russell is amazing as well. It just, um, it's very pulling. It pulls up. Animals get sick. They roll around. I mean, uh, elephants, I mean, they roll in the mud and lay out in the sun. I mean, that's, I do that three or four times a week. You know, I mean, I don't roll around in it, but I mean, I've thought about yeah. that actually. But I mean, it's, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, there's, there's, it's almost like the, the, the bee, the B product side of things. I mean, there's just so much and it, 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 so much, I mean, just the, getting the capillaries, I, 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 throw, I, I throw it in my hair, obviously it, it just helps with the texture as well. Um, it's a base of my texturizing hair clay that I'm gonna be making. I, there's so much more that, um, that it's capable of. I mean, I spot treat bug bites. Um, it just, it's so pulling. It'll, it'll, it'll literally pull out, uh, let's just say you have a, and in fact, usually it, it, like spot treating is it or an infection. I mean, you let that come to a, a you know a drying point, you're able to remove it like I've never seen. I mean, it, between spot treating, um, pulling out impurities, detoxing, and then just creating an, an unbelievable amount of blood blood vessel constriction, and um, just getting those capillaries moving, especially around the eye area. I think that's it's just it's a secret weapon in the in the anti aging industry just for looking not even but aside from the uh, aesthetic sort of uh, side of things, you know, just just helping your overall longevity with pulling out, you know, impurities and, and toxins with our, our our biggest, our largest detox organ, our skin. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you're you're so right about the mineral part. Um, even like you know uh, the uh, spa waters or min mineral spa waters have also been used for uh, like many many centuries as. Uh, I mean, you usually use so like you know body aches or those kind of things. Uh, but they, yeah, like you do absorb a lot of the minerals through the skin, uh, and that's why like you know magnesium baths or whatever they do, you absorb actually a lot more magnesium through the skin than you would, let's say, from like a supplement or and yeah, all the other minerals as well that you mentioned, like yeah. silic silic silicon and uh, yeah, copper even. That's a really good point. Thank you for mentioning that <laughs> yeah, because sure. it's yeah, I mean. A lot of the you know the, the absorption is just disrupted in the in the gut biome. I mean, so I mean that's why I mean it's just that's the biggest pathway, especially, especially you know with, with another thing to touch on with lipstick. You know, with that right there, the lips are like one of the most porous pathways, and um, yeah, so just you know, your skin is just going to absorb whatever you put on top of it. I mean, it's, mm. we just yeah. we have to look at your ingredients. What about like you know? Yeah, let's say like what is the order of operations like um should you first put the you know a clay mask on and clean the surface of the skin before you apply let's say some sort of a 
moisturizer or uh, like whatever tincture or whatever is like should you first clean the face even yeah. if it's like with regular water or uh, what's the order sure the routine yeah. uh cleanse with the pearl cleanser if you want a derma roll i highly recommend it if you don't that's fine too and then i mix up a clay mask you can use in a non-metallic bowl you can use apple cider vinegar or um some people use rose water aloe vera juice gerol steiner pellegrino filtered water tap water is you know, that's the last, uh, last ditch effort right there. But um, I would mix it up um, in a non-metallic bowl. You can add your favorite essential oils. I like sweet orange oil, pink grapefruit, uh, Lang Lang, lemongrass is great, chamomile, myrrh, frankincense, sandalwood. I have a lot. Uh, clary sage is, is great too. But you can customize the formula to your, your liking based on the essential oils that you'd like to use to get a little aromatherapy effect as well. And also to take out some of the bite because it's a little earthy. Apple cider vinegar and kelp powder are, uh, you know, it's a little, uh, smells like an ocean, um, but um, it, it, it's an earthy aroma. So you can add um, sweet orange oil, like I said, or pink grapefruit to eat up some of that acidity and add a really good aroma uh, therapy and skin benefits as well. Carrot seed, calendula, primrose. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of good essential oils out there that, um, that I add to the mix and a lot of people love as well. So I, I and I mix it up and um, so it's smooth like tooth, toothpaste and then apply it in an upwards direction, let that dry, hop in the shower, rinse it off, apply a gold serum or moisturizer and then at night, follow up with the night cream all around the face, neck, under eye area and that's it. I mean, four step process, five if you want it. If you want to go, if you really love this stuff, it could get even, you know, it can increase to, to a little bit more of it, but um, I just, I love it. It just mm -hmm. makes me feel good. I know what I'm getting every single time and it helps with my, the energy that, and the ripple effect that I'm going to meet, you know, with, mm -hmm. with everybody that I meet, you know, nice. sets the tone for my day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Um, but what about, let's say, let's talk a little about like, you know, let's say skin problems, uh, things that can cause up like blisters or pimples or acne, those kind of things. Uh, what do you think is the main, uh, let's say, cause for that? And how do you, let's say, remedy those? Uh, gut. I would say gut, diet, maybe the products they're using already. You know what I mean? I think gut health, the gut biome really determines a lot um, on our skin. And that's mm. becoming, I, I just, uh, I, I, I believed in that. Um, but then I, I was just at Microbiome Labs Media Week two weeks ago in Arizona. And there were about 20 naturopaths explaining the importance of gut health in, um, in its correlation to healthy skin. So um, I use Microbiome Labs as products. I also like Just Thrive as well. But just taking care of your gut, getting really good nutrient-dense vegetables, preferably fermented. Um, I, I, I do a lot of sauerkraut, a lot of uh, beet krauts in general, just to build up that gut biome. Mm. So um, with that right there, and then, you know, I, uh, you know, I would recommend intermittent fasting for, if you want to, for women, it, it's, it's still up in the air if, it, if it's, um, if it's, if it's good for, for women to do, but it just stay, you know, diet is very, very important. I think you'd agree for uh, just overall health and well-being, but skin and, you know, staying away from dairy, staying away from, you know, a, a sugar-laced diet, wheat, gluten, um, I don't really like uh, nuts, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll supplement with some Brazil nuts, but then again, the mycotoxins that commonly are located on a lot of uh, dried nuts and uh, just things that are on store shelves, just accumulating, uh, you know, just a lot of, uh, you know, outside right. elements are, are not, yeah, they, they don't, it's not, it's not ideal. I mean, diet is very important. I would, um, I would say, uh, you know, some of it is passed down, uh, you know, you know, genetics do play a part. I, and that's my biggest thing to count, you know, like the biggest culprit to, I want to counteract through just a, a solution. You know, I mean, we're using, I, I strongly believe that, you know, the, um, the colloidal silver eating up bacteria, I mean, with the cystic acne cases that have um, come our way, the rosacea, um, I mean, the, the, just the potted skin. I mean, it's something that we, um, yeah, it's, it's becoming more and more common. And I think it's a lot of it is because of nutrition and, 
um, in, in the products that people are using just kind of as a band-aid to dry out the skin, kill everything on the outside of the skin. Antibiotics, Accutane, absolutely awful. I mean, just the side effects are um, crippling and heartbreaking. I mean, I had a, a friend of mine that he's like, dude, I was depressed with it, with acne, or do you want to be depressed with Accutane? And he's like, right. I guess that's yeah, a, that's a heartbreaking you know situation to have to be in. So I would, um, yeah, I mean, diet plays a big part. Um, overall, you know, activity, getting good amounts of sunlight. Um, the, and then I really, I love the sauna. I, I mm. swear by the sauna as well. Getting on a good, uh, getting your blood work done, finding your inf inflammation markers. I would, uh, I would definitely recommend that. See what you're uh, deficient in and then supplement, you know, get a good naturopath uh, behind you. I, I swear, I mean, there, there's, there are solutions to, I mean, I feel like every situation, um, almost every situation. Yeah. Mm, yeah, for sure. I, I agree that the diet is huge uh, when it comes to mm. that. And um, yeah, inflammation and things like dairy or food allergens are generally yeah. are like one of the biggest uh, triggers uh, for people. And yeah, like combining that with like some sort of elimination diet or uh, uh, things of like that, uh, I think is the most effective uh, solution. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, elimination diet. Mm. Just to identify where you're at. But that's, I mean, we, we, want, we want those people. But we, want, we want them to, I mean, I, we just want to help those people particularly. Mm. Uh, I just had a conversation. I mean, no, not, I mean, not just them, but everyone. But um, yeah, I mean, I really want to please reach out. We got you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, what about like, you know, scraping the skin or uh, you mentioned the thermal roller. Um, so what are like different kinds of coffee scrubs or what, are, what do you think about those things? uh yeah so i mean i've tried them all obviously because i just want to know how they work if they work the, it's, yeah um it's funny we were watching a video yesterday too like uh, the avocado mass the egg white mass the egg yolk mass the um the, i've tried all of those and they the honey mass coffee scrubs particles too it's and they're all angled too so you just get more you just look more irritated than you do before usually um coffee i yeah, I've seen that. It's popular for whatever reason. I guess the caffeine content kind of, they can market that to kind of be in a, a diuretic to keep your skin tighter. I don't know, to reduce puffiness. I'm not sure, but um, I, I like, uh, we, yeah, just a nice a gentle scrub on the off days in between uh, a clay mask would be good. But yeah, I mean, just staying consistent with cleansing, exfoliating and then conditioning and hydrating throughout the day that, and then just with, with, with clean products and then staying active. Um, I, I just, I feel like just depending on lifestyle that that's the recipe right there. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then, I mean, the, the little devices with, you know, opening up, uh, you know, pathways with, with the derma roller that that's uh, probably my favorite tool right now. I would say microblading I've never done. Um, I, th I think that's what you mean with like the, the, the mm. scraping yeah um yeah never done that i'm curious but i've also seen people break out big time with that and have you know like a week or two just can't do anything and i, I just i want something consistent you know um but um let's see what else i mean that i just i haven't seen it you know you see the red light mask we're actually thinking about making a device i'm working with juve scientists right now nice. and um almost like a little there are a couple different things. Oh man, I wish I could talk about it. Yeah, there's there are a couple <laughs> different things that I'm working on right now. We're, we're uh, nice. just we're trying to work with a, a scientist that has a, the patent on certain a couple different things, but just effective uh, devices with you know I mean so, something with with a something like a, a topical almost like a big razor rolling onto and into the skin with with the lubricant before you know something like maybe a gold serum or maybe we make skin activating serum to just roll into the skin direct red light po possibly some other um uh yeah photobiomodulation like light, maybe a green and maybe a blue as well for mm. antibacterial properties yeah but um I, I, I haven't seen that one yet i just there it is but that, i also <laughs> have another another one as well but that's that, that may be down the road but yeah there are some very good devices just make sure they're, they come from a reputable brand juve yeah. doesn't get any better I would say, yeah, but I don't know if you've done the Juve or if you use the red light therapy. Yeah, yeah, I use, yeah, regular, yeah, yeah. every day. Yeah, me too, yeah. 
so it's effective it wakes you up um mm. I, the mitochondrial benefits too uh for the for the skin as well i uh, just I, I just it really i feel the activity especially after doing a dermal roller treatment because you, you it just accelerates that repairing process yeah, so, yeah. that's yeah. yeah that's very yeah. good I'm, I'm glad you mentioned the blue light as well and that's actually been used for uh, acne as yeah. well as well as the red light so quite successfully mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's i mean that's a big thing i mean it's you, i don't know if you've ever had uh if, if i had a, a, i've done it once i think i had a blue light device from what was it new wave way back i don't think it was new wave but yeah i mean you feel it just literally zapping that bacteria and just infection mm. um and it's gone within a couple of days i mean yeah. so it's undeniably effective and it's just through something that's yeah. electricity yeah. yeah vibration frequency yeah uh, you know given that you're a, a skincare brand um what, what, what is your opinion on like the sun like sunlight you know um oh, you know, how does that, what does you know do you think that it accelerates skin aging or uh, what what is your thoughts oh man that's so tough because we are making a, a sunscreen just because nobody's nailed it yet mm. and i i love the sun I mean, if I'm going to be out there for extended period, periods of time, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I can't wait to, to, I mean, try mine and start using that and going back and forth and, and going through that process. But I just love my body lotion. I love, I mean, I, I get at least 20 minutes of sun every single day. Have to. I, I mean, personally, that's just me. Now, I understand if you have underlying, you know, uh, you know, underlying skin issues and you have, you know, I mean, if you have a history with skin, uh, skin cancer, I just, um, yeah, absolutely not. I mean, I, I completely respect that, but I, and I don't want to put light on, um, how, you know, I, I just, for, for me, I, I, I mean, we're finding out more and more about how benefit beneficial the sun light is to our overall health. And yeah. I just, uh, circadian rhythm. I mean, I, I just, yeah, I don't miss too many sunsets. I don't, <laughs> miss well i mean i'm starting to miss sunrises i mean it's getting busier but yeah um yeah it's so important just for our overall health sun you know just i mean uh as far as for skin benefits if you get to the point where like 10 15 minutes you're not going to reach that burning point or that singeing point to the exterior but at the same time if you moisturize correctly and you have something to kind of illuminate and gently hydrate that area i don't think you're going to burn as quickly obviously it's theoretical but if you're using a theoretic but if you um if you're using conditioning ingredients like like i usually am with you know aloe cac cacao butter and different essential oils and you know uh, the ingredients and butters that we have in our, our products it doesn't it just works with me i don't know if my skin or i don't know if i've built they say that um you know in like the himalayas like it, it just calluses your skin you know they, they're used to the sun and it builds up like a a it builds the skin, the outer layer. I don't know mm. if that happened with me because I'm so, I'm out in the sun daily and I'm talking, I live in Nevada and mm. I, I have like this little glass table and it just shines right up. Yeah, I mean, I'm every single day. I, I love how I feel after yeah. about 20 minutes. So Yeah, I think it, you know, goes down to also like the, the diet. <laughs> so like, you know, your diet and minerals are going to fuel your body's like antioxidant defense systems. And uh, I mean, the sun causes oxidative stress to the skin. And if you have, proper and uh, sufficient of these antioxidant defenses then it's not going to you know damage the uh, skin either obviously if you stay there for like maybe five hours or something six hours then uh, eventually it will but uh, yeah. yeah even like things like nmn is actually being used or, the, oh. your, your, or your body uses nmn to counteract the uh, uv radiation uh, and really? to repair yeah re repair against it uh, so uh, yeah <laughs> so the diet is Sweet. important yeah I think we're we're putting niacinamide oh, nice. um, in our uh, in our meteorite scrub and is it I think arginine too. Nice. <laughs> you know, so yeah. um, that's interesting though. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that. I've I've, I've yeah. seen NAD using skincare. I just wanna I don't want to do things that are just hot and that other people mm. have already done. I want you know what I mean. I want to yeah. find out my my things uh, <laughs> on my own. But yeah, I mean it's it's fun. I mean there's so much out there. That is not, I don't think that, yeah, I mean, it, just with, you know, we, we get a few ingredients from the Amazon, particularly, I was just in Belize, I found these little, uh, uh, like mini coconuts, they call them uh, coquitos or co cojones as well. I mean, it's just, uh, it, there's so much beauty in nature. And I feel like there's so much medicine that lies within that, mm. that, that you know, and 
yeah. um there we can you know i'm the, yeah i just i love sourcing and love finding uh the diamonds in the rough yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome um you mentioned saunas and red lights uh and you mentioned the diet are there like any supplements that you use that are that you think are good for the uh, skin Ooh, yeah <laughs> i would i would say because hmm, man i take so many supplements um I would say a good nutrient dense, like uh, uh, blue green algae, uh, spirulina, mm. I would say is probably my number one. Spirulina, Shizandra, Hoshu Wu, big on mm. Chinese medicine, mm. big on Chinese, uh, Chinese medicine for sure. Um, Sheila G, big fan. Mm. Um, uh, let's see here, obviously vitamin C, but I, I, I use the vitamin C peptide just subcutaneously that's a, you know a huge building block and um you know just probably the most important nutrient uh for skin i would say um i, I also yeah like you mentioned with trace minerals getting you know just throwing some of that into your uh water in the morning um a little bit of uh yeah salt's great too i mean just k- keeping keeping your diet as is uh mineral dense as possible but without overdoing it you don't want to um but yeah, I would say, yeah, that's, that's pretty much a good amount of amino acids. I like citrulline, but that's more agmatine sulfate too. That's more of a vasodilator, good for circulation, but obviously uh, that can, you know, our face is included or our overall skin is included. Um, yeah, that's a turmeric, berberine. Uh, there's stuff going back and forth right now on whether or not salmon oil versus krill oils are better. So now kind of... Mm. You know, trying to figure that part out, but staying, uh, I, I love, yeah, love fish oil, uh, astaxanthin, Wob enzymes are great. And then I have a, you know, a lot of different probiotics that I take from microbiome labs and just thrive. I, I know that sounds like a lot. I'm trying to figure out if I could just name well, that, <laughs> one, well, like a couple. Yeah. But I would say spirulina, spirulina supplement with collagen protein. Hmm. It's so, it, cause it, the amino acid profile and collagen protein unbelievable have you read that it's like a full-on yeah. i mean i don't understand why anybody would ever take uh an amino branch chain amino acid like it's just i mean that is a full pretty much a full spectrum uh amino acid profile and that's the bulletproof collagen protein i take so i would definitely recommend that it's pretty affordable gelatin's amazing yeah. oh there it is i forgot gelatin yeah uh, great lakes gelatin yeah nice. yeah, it, yeah. It, it doesn't I, taste that good it's so important though down it before it kind of gelatinizes and i mean just your ligaments connected tissue tissue and tendons are gonna yeah, yeah definitely yeah. i also love that yeah consume gelatin pretty <laughs> regularly yeah yeah good for elastin yeah, yeah for sure well, that's awesome um yeah i mean it's really yeah like inspiring to see and uh, also good to know that there is like some you know quality products out there actually that uh, especially uh, and, and and you're like actually i think one of the only ones that i've come across that is let's say this high quality and the clean ingredients and transparent ingredients so yeah definitely uh i definitely recommend people to check it out and uh uh yeah before i ask my last question where can people learn about you and your work yeah so i want to offer a coupon code to to you and your following we can just call it seam yes yeah. i i am yeah sure and then it, our website's alitura dot com a l i t u r a dot com um i don't know if i mentioned this but alatura is latin for feeding and nourishing so that's uh what the name means and nice. that's my baby yeah do you, if you have any questions i'm, I'm on um, instagram andy h n i l o and mm-hmm. our instagram handle is alatura naturals a l i a l i t u r a n a t u r a l s Nice. And um, yeah, I love what I do. Love this. And I appreciate you having me on. Man. Yeah, for sure. And my last question is, um, we'll put all the links in the show notes. And uh, my last question is, uh, what's this one piece of advice or habit that you wish you'd up sooner? What's oh, to myself? Yeah, yeah, yourself. Mm. Pay attention to the scent. Pay attention to the things that excite you because it may end up being what you end up doing for the rest of your life. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. And, and you can, 
You know, why, why not make it? You know, just do your best to make it. Yeah. Pay attention to the things that excite you. Awesome. Make it, awesome. Make it your <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can All keep right. going and going. That's a great question, man. Great question. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for coming to the show. And uh, yeah, really love your work and uh, looking forward to the future products that you make. Hey, likewise. I, man, I love your work and you're helping a lot of people. Big respect to you. All right. Thank you. <laughs>